This week on DNG Radio, I'm your host, Sherman Ray. Um, for those of you who are just tuning in, you're looking at the webcam in a little different position here. That's all right. It's a little closer than it normally is to us, but I think we'll actually get through it. Um, for some of you who are looking in, you're probably seeing like my nostrils and everything like that. Um, we want to welcome you all to the show this morning. Uh, it is a beautiful Wednesday morning here in Las Vegas, Nevada. Uh, where the temperature is all of probably 60 degrees, but we're loving it here. Um, no, there are no shootings today, so we, we want to report there are no shootings in Las Vegas. So it's it's good. You can actually come here and uh, and join us here in Las Vegas. Uh, we don't have any drive-bys or taxis being um, hijacked or anything like that, so it's, um, it's a good day. Um, we want to welcome you all to the show today. Uh, this is a, um, a broadcast uh, production of the Diversity Networking Group. I want to invite you, if you're ever in Las Vegas, to come on down to the Diversity Networking Group. It is a wonderful, um, excuse me, I got a little bit of something in my mouth there. It's a wonderful group located um, over at Panera Bread at 7175 West Lake Mead Boulevard. Um, we also have a group called the Christian Business Connection, which we met with this morning, so we had a great, a great time with them. As a matter of fact, we'll probably talk a little bit about um, some of the things that were going on with the Christian Business Connection today. Uh, where we had a um, pretty good turnout, um, and um, so, you know, it's, it's all good, I'll say. We're all about networking here. We're all about um, business promotion and how we can help you as a business owner become a better CEO and, you know, fulfill your great uh, mandate in life. Well, let's talk a little bit today, before we get to some of the, uh, uh, some of the news that's, uh, some of the things that are making headlines in the news today, I want to talk a little bit today about a four-part series that we're going through over at the Christian Business Connection and it's called the four perspectives to success for your life and so you know real briefly folks uh, you know there are some perspectives in life that you um, that most, most people have and if you've got a different perspective on life it, depending on the perspective you have in life I should say um, it can really make a huge difference on how you live and how how successful you are in life so it doesn't really matter how talented you are, it's really your perspective on life that really determines where you're going to be in life. And so we were talking about that in the Christian Business Connection this morning about um, you know what those different perspectives are. We, we actually, we've got four, uh, the, the, the way we identified them is the bottom one we call the basement perspective. And uh, somebody described that person as an Eeyore type person. Have you ever heard of this Eeyore? Eeyore. Uh, you know, just got a really pe pessimistic look of life, and they just think everything sucks. And, and um, yeah, I can say that it sucks. It's my show. I can I can say that. Um, so that kind of person has a real pessimistic view of life. They think nothing good is going to happen, and so, so they basically cut off life before it even started. And it's really kind of un unfortunate because there's a lot of very talented people who've got a real bad outlook on life, and they just don't move forward. Uh, the next person is what we call the ground level perspective. And the ground level perspective person, you know, there's nothing wrong with that person, but they tend to think that we all should be exactly the same. That's right, we've got a lot of people, it's kind of socialistic look on life, you know, or a communist <laughs> look on life, where you just say, say everybody should be the same, there shouldn't be anybody who has any more than me, or anybody should have any less than me, and so as a result of that, they don't try to do anything more in life. Uh, you, um, so, you know, those, once again, those people tend to have some major problems because it doesn't matter, excuse me, how, how talented they are, they won't use it. They won't move forward in life, they, uh, you know, so. Then we have the person who's got, got a sky view perspective on life, and that sky view perspective, that's where most uh, entrepreneurs actually lie. Uh, most people who are entrepreneurs believe that the sky is the limit, and they move forward really great, uh, you know, they make good friends with people. They tend to um, be the kind of person that you want to be around a lot because they you know they want to they want to do things, you know, they're ambitious, they're optimistic, that kind of person. But, you know, but as we said before, they've got a limited view of life also because the sky is the limit for them because they're a sky view person. You know, they they it's a you know, the interesting thing about a sky view person is that even though they're moving at the speed of it and they seem to have things have things under control, they will only go so far in life because of their perspective on life also. Which leads us to the last person, which is the heavenly perspective person. 
And what do we mean by heavenly perspective person? Well, that's the pinnacle of being uh, in business as a mentor, as a, an entrepreneur. This person who has a heavenly perspective of life uh, has no limits. They actually have, have invested their life in a lot of people. They've invested their life in a lot of businesses and a lot of um, things. And as a result of that, this person has absolutely the most fun in life. They tend to be the Bill Gates of the world. They tend to be the Steve Jobs type people. Now, we're not saying that Bill Gates is a, is a heavenly perspective person, uh, or Steve Jobs for that matter of fact, but that tend, they tend to have that, that kind of personality where they invest in a lot of people's lives. Now, I would say John Maxwell. If I could ever look up, uh, on one person uh, who uh, in life uh, who is still here with us is a John Maxwell. He's invested his life into so many people. So many people have bene benefited from him. And the, uh, he is just one of those people that is just flying at the, um, at the speed of sound. So we tend to look at those kind of people and say, you know what, I want to be a person like that. Um, so for those of you who are just t tuning in right now, this is This Week on DNG Radio. I'm your host, Sherman Ray. I'm the founder and the president of the Diversity Networking Group. Uh, we want to welcome all you folks that are here on the webcam. Uh, we've got the webcam set up just a little different today. Uh, we were kind of rushing in the door. Uh, we want to apologize because with, uh, for those of you who are on Ustream, we're a little late with the show, but that's fine. Uh, we're still having a great time here today. Um, and we're talking a little bit about the four perspectives on life, that uh, the study that we were kind of going through with the, uh, the Christian Business Connection. Um, we want to invite you, if you're out and about tomorrow over, uh, you know, in the Lake Mead area here in Las, uh, in, uh, Las Vegas, not Lake Mead, the, uh, the body of water, but Lake Mead, <laughs> the street over off of like the 95 in Lake Mead. We want to invite you out to the Diversity Networking Group. And the Diversity Networking Group meets uh, on Thursdays at 7175 West Lake Mead Boulevard. And that's in Las Vegas, Nevada, 89128. We meet at 7 o'clock in the morning. We're going to be going over um, a pretty good uh, study tomorrow also, and it's called FIT. And I'm not going to give any more... I'm not going to give any more, uh, 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 yeah, not fit, like in lifting muscles, but it's a different kind of fit. But I'm not going to give out any more, you know, hints on that, because if you want to know what it's all about, then come on out tomorrow morning at 7 o'clock in the morning, and you can find out about that. Um, also, coming up on March the 12th, we have the EDGE training. The EDGE training has been fantastic, folks. It's all about helping business owners become the business owner that they've always wanted to be, the, helping them become the CEO that they want to be. As a matter of fact, last month um, for the EDGE training, for excuse I should say this month, uh, February, um, we had, gosh, Sean Canal. Sean Canal is the audiovisual guy for um, uh, Benny Perez, Pastor Benny Perez of the Church of South Las Vegas. Uh, he is their audiovisual guy. We also had some of the guys for, um, gosh, it's called, um, oh gosh, what's the name of the group? It's something Legacy. I forgot the name of the group. But what they do is they do video presentations and they help business owners figure out how to do the video presentations. It was simply fantastic. And we actually had them all day long. We had them for the cutting edge that started in the morning at 9 o'clock in the morning all the way till 5 o'clock where we broke for dinner. And then we had Sean Canal come from 7 o'clock in the afternoon till 9 o'clock at night talking to us all about video, video presentation, how to do a video, and how to do one, not just to you know do something and slap it up on Facebook or slap it up on YouTube, but to have it be something that is actually something that will catch people's attention. Uh, now, Sean has a reputation of producing 2 million hits on his YouTube account. So, you know, a guy like that, you want to listen to. So, if you want to be a part of the EDGE training, um, I'd like you to go to www.diversitynetworkinggroup.com and you can find out all about the EDGE training and how you can be a part of it for the, um, for, oh, excuse me there, Melian, are you on? Oh, okay. Our producer here is having, having an issue. Maybe it was a Tic Tac or something like that. So you can be a part of the EDGE training this month, and, uh, or excuse me, coming up in March. Uh, I'll tell you, you are not going to regret it. Uh, we are going to really hit the video presentation. And maybe we'll go over that a little bit um, in the next segment about really what's going on with video 
uh, the internet and how you as a business owner can actually uh, be a part of that. And lastly, but not leastly, um, the Las Vegas Business Promotion Network. We are up and running, folks, and we are actually going to have an official meeting uh, Friday with some of the Producers Council. Um, very interesting group that we've been working on for a while. Um, so if you'd like some more information on that, you can email me. Just email me at sray, and that's S-R-A-Y, at lvbizpro.com. That's L-V-B-I-Z-P-R-O.com. You can find out some more information on that. Anyways, hey, we'll be back in just a minute with the, uh, another segment of This Week on DNG Radio. I'm your host, Sherman Ray, and we'll be back in just a minute. There we go. Hey, folks, and welcome back to This Week on DNG Radio. I'm your host, Sherman Ray. I'm the founder and the president of the Diversity Networking Group. And um, we were just talking a little bit in the last segment about um, the four part series that we're doing over at the uh, Christian Business Connection. And it's called The Four Perspectives. And we're actually going to probably put make that into like an ebook or something like that. It's pretty, pretty interesting. Um, been enjoying uh, that study so far. 
Um, well, what's going on in the news? Let's let's talk about what's going on in the news, folks. And one of the things that's happened is um, if you if you don't if you know anything about Las Vegas and you know anything about you know data storage and stuff like that, you know Las Vegas is like huge on the list. We're really up there um, as one of the largest data storage uh, corporate data storage uh, areas in the country. And the reason for that is um, is twofold. Um, one is our proximity to like California and other major hubs. And then the, ex the next one is because of California, uh, because we don't have earthquakes. <laughs> so, uh, you know, data storage people are really antsy when you find out that you live on a fault line. You know, they don't want you, they don't want any of their stuff on a fault line. And it's something about the shifting sands and the shifting tech, you know, the plates and stuff like that. They just, they get really nervous. So Las Vegas has what uh, they call switch, and switch is uh, down in the south end of the valley, like Decatur and 215. It's a huge, huge complex, and what it does is it basically stores a lot of data for major, major, major companies um, throughout the world, not just in the United States, but throughout the world. We are huge, and so Homeland Security is like saying they've got machine guns around there. I mean, because if that place went down, it would be huge um, because of all of the data that is actually stored there. Um, well, a friend of mine, his name is Mike Ballard, and Mike actually just opened up another facility. And I want to read this story uh, for you. It actually comes out of VegasInc.com. Uh, storing corporate data has become an industry unto itself in Nevada and city officials in Las Vegas welcomed one of the newest entries to the market. Cobalt Data Centers opened its doors to local base business representatives and government officials with tours of its 34,000 square foot 5.5 megawatt facility on West Cheyenne Avenue in the center of a cluster of technology companies. CEO uh, Mike Ballard said the facility opened since early January houses data <clears throat> from an undisclosed number of clients representing the gaming, healthcare, cloud computing, and telecom service sectors. Wow. Um, and they're expecting to employ about uh, 20 people uh, within the first year, but it is, it's it's going to be huge. Now, the interesting thing about this is, and we want to uh, con uh, congratulate Mike Ballard. Um, actually, I went to high school with Mike. You know, I, it's funny, I, I just spoke with him probably less than six, eight months ago. And we were just kind of catching up on Facebook, you know, how, you know how, it, how it is. You catch up on Facebook. With he happened to mention that he does, you know, computer stuff. And they didn't really think about it too much, um, other than the fact that how can I help this guy? Because poor Mike is probably just, just hurting out there in the world. So I figured I would help him out by offering to help him be a part of our networking group. And he would come in and, you know, maybe get some business or something like that. Snap, I should have asked him for a job. <laughs> <laughs> this guy is like big time now. I'm so excited for you, Mike. Um, Cobalt joined Switch Communications in the market. Switch is a, is a multi uh, facilities, uh, has multi facilities, uh, including SuperNAP operations, which industry leaders say is the 10th largest in the country and has the largest cooling and power system in the industry. So we want to uh, congratulate Mike Ballard and uh, Cobalt um, Data Centers for what they're doing. And uh, m maybe, if, uh, Mike, if you can hear me right now, and I, you're probably listening because there's a lot of people listening to this broadcast. Uh, Mike, I would love for you to give a call into the station. It's uh, the phone number is 702-382-0103. Just call in, and you can talk to me about your, your uh, company and let everybody know what you're doing over there. Uh, you probably have machine guns over there, so we won't tell them exactly where it's at. But... Um, but we want to uh, congratulate you for what you're doing over there. Um, <clears throat> we were talking in our last segment about uh, video and how video is really playing a big part in the internet and that kind of thing. Well, it, it's been a, 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 the, an analogy we want to make is many of you probably remember what it was like for the, uh, gosh, the gold rush days or the big grant, the land grab days back in the Old West where people were coming out west and they told people basically, hey, guess what? The first one to get to the best property, that's your property and you, you stake your claim. Well, folks, that's exactly what is happening with the video uh, content sector of the uh, internet right now. It is a wild, wild west. And we've been talking about this for a long time. Um, 
when I joined the video revolution, I joined it back in 2008. And so if you know anything about me, I am just prolific in, my, in the amount of video that I will actually put up on the web. Generally, I will put up one product a day. And it will be on something, you know, whatever it is. And I've gotten in the habit of doing that, um, doing one a day. I got in the habit of doing that probably about two years ago. Um, and really got really serious about it during the time, um, started last year, probably in March or April or something like that, when I was starting to train for the marathon, the Las Vegas Rock and Roll Marathon. Well, um, so I've been on everybody about him saying, guys, get on board, get on board, get on board. Uh, as a matter of fact, with the, the show that we're doing right now, if you're watching via webcam, this is basically part of it um, because I just really believe that video is going to be huge and the first people who take advantage of it are going to be the ones that everybody's going to watch. Um, um, many of you, if you remember the guy named Leo Laporte, I mean, uh, Millie, you remember that guy, Leo Laporte? Okay, and it used to be on, it used to be called the ZD, ZD TV, and then it was called Computer TV, and then it went porno, I think, something like that. But anyways, <laughs> Leo Laporte is still on TV to this day, and the reason why was because he was one of the first computer guys on TV. And so he is still on TV today. He's on Ustream, so if you want to see him, he's on Ustream all the time, and he's got his own show. Well, I was, uh, Cisco Systems... Many of you know who Cisco Systems are. Um, they have reported that by the end of the year, 90% of the content on the web is going to be video. Can you believe that? Isn't that incredible? So, if you have any thought of getting on board with video, I, you know, I'm going to uh, give you a challenge. I want you to contact me. This just go to uh, my website, which is www.shermanray.com. That's shermanray.com, and contact me, and I will help you produce your videos. We've got a company that we just started. And I've got some videographers that we've started, um, and folks, we know what we're doing on this. So I want you to go to my website, www.shermanray.com, um, and 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 get a hold of me. Or you can send me an email. You can you know, send me an email at diversitynetworkinggroup at gmail.com. That's with one G. So diversity networking group. That's with one G at gmail.com. Uh, and you can get a hold of me. And we will help you produce your videos. This is really important, folks, uh, that if you've not gotten on the video bandwagon yet, you're not too late. But if you keep waiting, it is going to be it literally... Um, we want to get involved in this before the major networks do, because once those guys get involved into it, or major studios or something like that, it's going to become harder and harder and harder for you as the small business guy to actually be a part of the video revolution. Um, as a matter of fact, you, a lot of guys who um, actually get their videos to the top of the search engines, they are large corporations already, so they've got a lot of money. But we've found ways that you can actually take advantage of simple technologies and simple methodology. And, and, and they are secrets that the pros will not tell you. And we have learned these that we can help you get on the web on a regular basis. And not only that, but get clients and, uh, and sell your product too. So um, once again, I want you to go to my website, which is www.shermanray.com and contact me or you can email me at diversity networking group at gmail.com that's diversity networking group that's just with one g diversity networking group at gmail.com you can find out all about how to produce a video so hey so that's uh so it's been pretty interesting so once again cisco systems says by the end of the year and i can't say this enough by the end of the year 90 percent of the content on the web is going to be video and if you're not getting on the bandwagon, brother, it is, it's going to be tough. Uh, and if you're an older guy that's saying, oh, I'll do just fine, well, that's what cigar makers said before the uh, automatic cigarette machine, the uh, cigarette making machine set <laughs> came along and they went out of business. So, anyways, hey, folks, if you uh, would like to catch up with us on Twitter, I'd like you to go to DivNet Grip, Diversity Networking Group. That's D I V N E T G R P. Um, and uh, follow us on Twitter. And we'll be back in the, in the last segment. We're going to talk a little bit more about what's going on in fabulous Las Vegas and how you as a business owner can take advantage of some of the great things that are going on. 
Hey, this is Sherman Ray, and this is This Week on DNG Radio. We'll be back in just a minute. All right, final segment. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Hey, folks, <clears throat> we're back, and we're back with the final segment of this week on DNG Radio. <clears throat> I want to thank you, folks. I'm, I'm your host, Sherman Ray, and I'm the founder and the president of the Diversity Networking Group. We want to thank all the folks that are here with us on the webcam. Um, I know it's a little close. Uh, we've uh, 
We've made some changes in our format today, but it's been cool. Um, you know, in our first segment, we talked a little bit about a, uh, a, a, a series that we're doing over at the uh, Christian Business Connection. And that meets on Wednesdays, so we had a good time with those folks today. And we talked about the four perspectives on life. And I'll tell you, that was fun in that um, we had some great feedback on that. And then we talked a little bit in our last segment about video. And I really kind of, I know that I can, you know, we're belaboring the point of video, folks. But um, and, and it's funny because last week, and Million, you're going to want to hear this. Last week, I was called pushy. Yeah, I know. Sweet, lovable me was, was called pushy. There was a guy. Now, I'm working with a company, and it's called... Um, uh, and the name of the networking group that we're building is called the Las Vegas uh, Business Promotion Network. Now, the interesting thing about it is that um, it is for high net worth business owners. Okay, so we've got a lot of millionaires who are part of this million. Get it, millionaires? <laughs> so, uh, so uh, we've got a lot of business owners who are millionaires who are part of this group. Um, we're also um, being able to uh, leverage. The, the, the facilities that I'm at over at the Lakeside Business Suites and everything else like that, and being able to do some great things. Um, uh, so I've met with, gosh, people from Channel 3, 5, 8, 13, met with all the major radio stations and the City FM. And, um, and so when I invited a guy to be a part of this and take a look at it, I said, hey, dude, you know, you really probably should th take a look at this. This is a great opportunity. Uh, we're not talking about spending a thousand dollars here and there. We're talking tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of dollars, that are being shelled out to make this thing happen. <clears throat> well, anyways, the guy thought I was being pushy, so <laughs> so I th and so I told a guy who's a CFO. I said, "Hey, look, I'm not being pushy. I'm just very excited for this guy because he has an opportunity to make a lot of money. That's my job. My job is to help the business owners connect and make a lot of money." And so um, this guy said, well, you know, he's kind of feeling like you're being pushy. And, and I said, well, that's fine. You know, I'm not, I don't want to make anybody make money. I can't help. If they don't want to make any money, I can't make, help them make any money. But that's exactly what it is. Well, it's the same thing with the video revolution right now. Uh, you know, uh, see how we tie that back in is the video revolution and being pushy. Um, if you knew today that 50 years ago, if you, you know, if you knew 50 years ago, I should say, if you knew 50 years ago that um, the internet was going to be something that was going to take off, <clears throat> would you not take advantage of an opportunity to get involved in the internet? Okay. Uh, or like one of the guys who uh, was um, with, um, gosh, what's the guy's name, the guy who founded uh, Facebook? Zuckerberg. Zuckerberg. Okay. Do you know that one of the guys who did not end up becoming part of the Facebook group. The reason why he didn't is because his dad told him, stay away from that Mark Zuckerberg guy. <laughs> Isn't that funny? He says, that kid's going to get you in trouble. You guys are going to get in trouble. It's another harebrained scheme. And the guy's dad told him, look, don't get involved with him. So he didn't. Well, hindsight is twenty twenty. Now we all know that, you know, he should have probably shot his dad. <laughs> but, you know, it is what it is. Well, the same thing with the video revolution now, that there is going to be, there's going to be a huge, huge glut of video, and not just um, any old video, and we were talking about this in the last, in the last, uh, uh, in the break, is that the, see, ABC, CBS, NBC, the major, you know, BBC, those guys have not actually gotten onto the web in a significant way to take advantage of the whole video market, and for some reason. Now it's not like uh, not like Apple. Now Apple basically uh, a few years back, <coughs> excuse me, they saw what was happening with radio, or excuse me, with the uh, uh, records and stuff like that. You had companies like Napster and stuff like that who came along, and Napster basically said, "Hey, we're giving away all this stuff, man. We're we're we're, we're red, you know, we're black hatters, and we're gonna we're gonna pirate all this music and give it away." Well, the Sony and all the other uh, big um, record labels all got really upset about that. But instead of them going out and just going out after them legally, which they did, uh, but they also said, "Let's there is a, we see an opportunity here." And what they did is they developed iTunes, and iTunes is now huge. 
So instead of you, you know, spending three or four dollars on a radio, you can download that thing for ninety nine cents. iTunes makes money, and the the uh, the artist makes a little bit of money. But you know what? Sony found out a way to make this work. Okay. Well, guess what's going to happen with the video? Okay, it's going to be the same thing, folks. They're going to probably find out here in a little bit that hey, there's a lot of people who are uploading videos. So what better way to do this now you're hearing this first okay and i'm probably not going to be the only one who's going to say this but you're hearing it here first they i predict this is my prediction i'm the maha maha sherman <laughs> that what you're going to find out is these major corporations are going to end up buying up youtube they're going to end up buying up you know daily motion and all these other ones all these other uh, sites uh, Hulu and everything else, they're going to end up buying those up, and the only way you're going to be able to upload your videos of your dog sniffing its butt or whatever he's doing, um, you know, the owls and everything else, is you're going to have to pay for it. I, I, You hear me now, folks, because they have got the major money. Or they're going to say something like, hey, unless it is in this format or it's using this particular thing or whatever, they're going to put some kind of limitation on it. And the only way you're going to be able to upload your videos is through their portal, and they're going to they're going to be able to monetize this on a big way that has not been able to be done before. Okay, and mark my words, the only reason why I know this is because a few years back, I um, was uh, lear learning how to play guitar. I literally learned how to play guitar on the internet, through the internet, I should say. And how did I do it? There were free sites, all these free sites, all this free information. It was so wonderful. Ah, ah, I'm thinking about it now. I'm thinking about all the great things that I learned free using these sites and using all these great teachers and everything else. That was a few years back. Do you think you can find those sites now? Well, sure, you can find those sites now. But guess what? That information ain't free no more, man. I'm guaranteeing you, you cannot find those sites they are not there anymore. And even little Johnny, who just learned how to play Inagata De Vida, you know, or like, donk, donk, da, donk, donk, da, da, you know, every guitar player at home, even if little Johnny has just that, he's going to charge you to, to, to hear him play that or to learn how to play it, okay? And that's just the way the evolution of business goes, you know, things just are not free forever. So, if you have not learned how to do a video, if you've not taken advantage of the video revolution, folks, I want you to go to my website. My website is www.shermanray.com, or you can email me at diversitynetworkinggroup.com. It's diversitynetworkinggroup.com, and that's just with one G. Find out, how, and I will help you produce your own video. Okay, I know I'm not going to do it for free because guess what, folks? You're, you've already missed the bandwagon. I, I've been talking about this for weeks and weeks and weeks. I will help you do it, but I will make it so easy for you and show you and point you to the direction that you want to go um, that it will that you will be thinking to yourself, man, I, I wish I would have contacted this guy before. Okay, um, or if you'd like to come to the Diversity Networking Group and we meet on Thursdays. You can be a part, because we talk about it all the time. Uh, as a matter of fact, one of the guys in the group actually went out and bought his own camera, and I'm helping him develop his own his own uh, content for his, uh, for his site. But the information is out there. There's right ways of doing it. There's wrong ways of doing it. Uh, there are ways that you can do it and absolutely see no shift on the, on the uh, attraction meter. Um, but you need to know how to do it right, and, uh, and I can help you with that. Um, as a matter of fact, when we were at the EDGE training uh, on Tuesday of last, uh, about two weeks ago, we spent the entire day talking about video content and how you as a business owner can, uh, can get your videos up there on the web and not just get them up on the web, folks, but get them seen, okay? Because every time somebody sees your video and they respond to it, that is a new lead for you. That's a prospective client for you. And it's, it's a possibility that you're going to get your stuff sold. So... One, once again, folks, if you have not gotten in on this stuff, I really want you just to get out there and, and do something with it. 
Uh, hey, we want to remind you before we take off out of here, folks, about um, the Las Vegas Business Promotion Network. We are working on that. It is launched now, and we're, we're ex excited about it. We're actually going to probably have our first uh, series of seminars here in the next couple of weeks. Um, so we've been working on that. Uh, we're also excited about the EDGE training. Um, where um, That's going to be actually March 12th. So we're really excited about the EDGE training. Um, where last month we spent the entire day on a Tuesday uh, working on videos and just a fantastic uh, lineup of speakers we had. Um, and also we want to remind you about the Diversity Networking Group, the sponsor of, our, of this show, along with the uh, Lakeside Business uh, Suites. Um, the Diversity Networking Group meets a couple times a week. One is the Christian Business Connection and the other one is the Diversity <coughs> Networking Group. Both of them meet at 7 o'clock in the morning over at the Panera Bread, 7175 West Lakemead Boulevard. Um, that's in Las Vegas, Nevada, 89128. Wow. We've had a wonderful time, folks. Uh, we want to thank you all um, for being a part of the show today. I want to thank Million uh, Quinteras. Uh, he is the producer over here at the um, City FM. If you'd like to have your own show, I invite you to contact Million. Uh, go to thecityfm.com, and he can probably probably hook you up right then and there. That's it. It, it. There's a microphone sticking out of the computer, and all you got to do is start talking. So Million can help you out with that. Uh, we will be back next week, folks. Uh, hopefully we'll have a great guest uh, for next week. And once again, like any more information on video content, do contact me at the diversity networking group at gmail.com. That's just one G, folks. And we will see you next week on This Week in DNG Radio. This has been Sherman Ray, the founder and the president of the Diversity Networking Group. We'll see you next week.